Beginning in October, you can choose from a wide variety of plants that are suitable for a wide variety of garden designs. Sowing seeds in the chilly soil of fall is a terrific way to prepare flower beds for next spring. We examine in greater detail a few of the most effective flowers to plant in October. Number one, sweet peas. These beloved cottage garden flowers are not only easy to raise from seed, but they also enjoy immense popularity. The good news for sweet pea growers is that the plant comes in an almost infinite variety of hues, and they are incredibly adaptable, working just as well in pots as they would in the ground. If you prefer to plant sweet peas in the fall rather than the spring, then October is the perfect month to accomplish so. While seeds planted in the fall may thrive in the mild indoor temperatures of the season, they will require protection from the harsh weather in the winter and should be stored in a greenhouse or cold frame. But compared to spring sown seeds, you get earlier blossoms and stronger plants. When spring rolls around, when the danger of frost has passed, you can harden off the seedlings by pinching them back regularly. Then you can plant the sweet peas outside. Number two, cornflower. Gorgeous annual cornflowers are a wonderful addition to any wildflower garden or cut flower arrangement. The plants are available in a variety of colors, including the traditional cornflower blue, dark crimson, and several shades of pink. Planting cornflowers in October will result in larger plants and earlier flowers the next year if you happen to reside in a hardiness zone in the United States that has mild winters. Corn flowers are able to withstand minor frost, allowing young plants to persevere during less severe winters. Having said that, if your winters are particularly chilly, you might want to hold off on planting cornflowers in March for a summer show until early to mid-spring. Because cornflower seeds are tiny and don't like to be buried too deeply, they can be seeded either directly in the ground or into pots with a light layer of soil. Number three, alliums. Spectacular pom-pom blooms atop tall Statured stems make alliums a show-stopping plant. You can plant these bulbs in the fall and then wait for them to sprout in the spring. They look great in borders and beds, and they also make a bold statement when planted in containers. Alliums are available in a wide variety of colors, including white, pink, blue, and purple, and can reach a height of over a meter. This means that they can complement any style of garden. Allium bulbs are best planted between the months of September and October, at least six weeks before the first hard frost. Alliums are believed to provide four years of blooming after planting, making them an excellent perennial bulb to plant in the fall, as well as a top spring bulb to plant in the fall. Number four, cowslip. Perennial cowslips, or Primula veris, provide welcome shade to any garden with a shadier position. Cowslips, which can only reach a height of 10 inches, are characterized by the stunning yellow blooms that they produce on tall, upright stems that rest atop clusters of serrated leaves. Although cowslips are more usually found in eastern North America, they are actually native to Europe. The best time to plant seeds is in October, when the weather is cool enough to break the seed's dormancy. To give the plants time to establish roots in the soil before winter hits, saw them directly into the garden about six weeks before the first frost. After establishing themselves in the garden, cowslips will self-seed and display a display of lemony blossoms in the middle to late spring. Number five. Antirrhinums. Another perennial favorite in cottage gardens, antirrhinums, also known as snapdragons, come in a rainbow of hues and are perfect for use as cutting flowers. In October, antirrhinums can be planted inside. 
plant the seeds directly into the compost or place them in a propagator to start the germination process under a transparent plastic bag. After plants are big enough to handle, they can be potted and kept in a sheltered area over the winter. In the spring, they can be planted outside once the frosts have passed. Planting seeds in the autumn will provide blossoms as early as May. Number six, rose campion. The lovely summer flowering plant known as rose campion or lichenus is sure to turn heads with its shiny leaves and vibrant blossoms that crown its sturdy stalks. Stratification in cold conditions is necessary for the seeds. To accomplish this, scatter seeds over the top of compost-filled pots or trays. Seeds do not germinate when covered and should be placed in a cold frame or unheated greenhouse. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.